let's look at some Laplace transform rules. The first rule uh, is the rule for the Laplace transform of the derivative of a function. If the Laplace transform of f of t is capital F of s, then the Laplace transform of f dash of t, that is the derivative with respect to time, is s times f of s minus f of 0. And let's prove that from the definition we have the plus transform of f of t is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus st f of t dt. Now we don't want f dash of t. How do we do that? Let's integrate by parts. We do that. This is the first expression in the integration by parts. This is the second expression in integration by parts. We just follow the uh, integration by parts rule. Now if you look at this term here, it looks like Laplace transform of f dash of t from the definition. Now this part here, if we evaluate at 0, this becomes 1, this becomes f of 0. At infinity, this becomes 0, so the whole thing drops off. And that's what it is. This is evaluated at infinity. This is the expression evaluated at 0. Multiply throughout by s, and then you have the plus of f dash of t is s times capital F of s minus f evaluated at t equal to 0. Now for the nth derivative we have this general formula which says that Laplace transform of the nth derivative of f of t is equal to s to the power of n times capital F of s minus s to the power of n minus 1 times f of 0 that is f evaluated 0 minus s to the power of n minus 2 f dash evaluated at t equal to 0 so on and so forth. The second rule that we are looking at is the Laplace transform of a time domain function f of t multiplied by e to the power of minus at. Now the Laplace transform of this entire thing is capital F of s plus a where capital F of s is the Laplace transform of f of t. Essentially what that say, this says is you replace this by s plus a to get the Laplace transform of e to the power of minus at times f of t. How do you prove that? Go back to the definition of Laplace transform. Laplace transform of e to the power of minus at times f of t is nothing but integral from 0 to infinity times e to the power of minus a s t times that function which is e to the power of minus at times f of t. We can add these exponentials here, like so. And then we make an observation. Let's say s plus a is s hat. And if you write that, this expression becomes integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s hat t f of t dt. By definition, this is f of s hat. Now we just replace s hat by s plus a which is the original value here and there we have it the third property that we are looking at is the property of differentiation of the Laplace transform so um, what this says is if you have Laplace transform of f of t equal to capital F of s if you take the first derivative with respect to s df by ds then that is the Laplace transform of t times f of t so how do you prove that? Again, we go to the definition of Laplace transform, and uh, uh, as you know, Laplace transform f of t is capital F of s, which is integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus st f of t dt. Now we do direct differentiation of capital F of s. If you do that, the terms with t are not affected. You just take this and differentiate it. So that will give you e to the power of minus st minus t f of t dt integral 0 to infinity. Now it can, you can take that minus 1 outside and if you do that and if you look at what's inside here by definition this is the Laplace transform of t f of t so tf by ds or minus tf by ds is the Laplace transform of t times f of t. In general, if you multiply f of t by t to the power of n, 
in its Laplace transform is minus 1 to the power of n df differentiated n times with respect to s.